Every time I travel, I have to eat all the weird foods that I can find. I just can't help myself. So we're gonna look at the 10 strangest foods that I've eaten around the world. First, in Cambodia, I had duck balut, or it might have been chicken, I'm not even sure. Basically, it's just an egg that um, is not a typical egg with egg white and egg yolk. It's actually a, a fetus of the animal. This that? So, uh, this is a chicken embryo. Apparently they ate these in Cambodia, or I'm the victim of a very funny practical joke. World star! <laughs> World star! World star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the body of a. See, like, get the face, get the face. <laughs> <laughs> the baby face. <bite. laughs> <laughs> Next one, really it's no big deal. It's a popular dish there and everyone knows about it. Everyone's heard of it, uh, but it still totally grossed me out. When I was in France, I ate snails and they, they really are just like your typical garden snails that are cooked up with whatever. Bonjour. We're here in Paris. I got myself some escargot. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Drink the juice. Yeah, drink the juice with it. Yeah. What do you think? I've had worse things. That's pretty good. <laughs> Next one, I was in Cairns, Australia, and I went to a fruit market there and got a fruit called a black sapid or sapodi. I don't even know how to say it, but they call it a chocolate pudding fruit, and it was one of the weirdest things I've ever eaten. And this real ugly looking one here, that's called a black sapid or Chocolate pudding fruit. It looks pretty interesting. I didn't have a knife, so I just butchered this thing with a spoon. Oh my god, look at that. Let's give it a try. Really interesting texture there for a fruit. Is camera going to pick that up? Nope. Oh, and weird. That's real weird. It's not super sweet or anything. I wouldn't say it tastes like chocolate pudding, definitely, but not bad. I don't drink coffee all that much. When I do, I usually put a bit of milk, a bit of sugar in there. I've never thought to put an egg, which is what they do in Vietnam. Okay, this right here is a Vietnamese egg coffee. The first time I heard about it, it sounded like someone just cracked an egg into a coffee, but it's actually kind of, um, maybe the egg white, they whip it like a meringue. Let me see how it is. Oh, that's awesome. It tastes like a dessert or something. It's good. One of the coolest things ever, I was in um, Zimbabwe in Africa and I went to this place that had all sorts of game meats available. You could get like buffalo and warthog and all these strange animals, some with names that I didn't even recognize. They were all really good and maybe the weirdest thing they had there was these things called Mopani worms which are actually like a caterpillar. Next one you've probably seen in Thailand, they eat a lot of bugs and things like that and I ate a scorpion and it was on like a like a little paddle pop stick, like a tiny little ice cream and it was interesting. In Taiwan, a really popular dish is stinky tofu, which is uh, just normal tofu, but it's been soaked in this fermented vegetable sauce, juice, something, and it stinks when they're prepping it, when they're cooking it, but then by the time it comes out to your table, it doesn't really smell so bad. But the really interesting thing they have is called a century egg, which is an egg that's fermented for not quite a century, but a really long time. And the yolk stays like a yolk, but the egg white, it changes color. It goes like a translucent sort of black and um, it looks really, really freaky, but I had it one time and loved it. And I actually had it, you know, probably once every few weeks that I was there as well. 
In Cambodia, again, there's a little town called Skuon or something like that. They call that Spider Village because it's basically infested with tarantulas. And um, obviously, a popular cheap protein is the tarantulas themselves. And I ate one when I was there. Right. Yeah. Looks yeah. good, but it's good for your stomach. Yeah. Good for my stomach? Yes. Do you want to come in? It's Do you want to eat half? You yeah. eat that half, I'll eat half. It's okay. Okay. Oh, it okay. okay. Eat the whole, eat the whole thing. Good? Okay, one more. Eat the whole thing. One. Do you want to try It's okay. What's that? What's that? That's not good. Yeah, I'm seeing Oh my god, I nearly ate that. You were telling me to eat the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, but that is okay. <laughs> so going. Cheers, yeah. That's pretty good. Back in Thailand, these are giant cockroaches. They're like eight centimeters long or something like that. And they're actually pretty nice. Now definitely the strangest food that I've eaten on my travels was in Peru. A really popular traditional dish is guinea pig. Now this thing comes out on your plate. It doesn't look like a meal. It looks like a rat fell into the fryer and they brought it out to your table. And it didn't taste all that great. But anyway, here it is for you. We're in Peru, this is called a koi. This is a guinea pig. Um, this was the owner of the restaurant, this was his pet until today. We paid him a little extra for this one. <laughs> I should have asked for medium rare. All right, this is pretty much just his skin. Don't eat the skin. That's my bab. 